Hi everyone, welcome back to a new video. I thought I'd vlog a bit. I don't know where this video is going, but I am I wanted to do my nails today because they need major help. They look disgusting, so it's not focusing, but I wanted to just vlog a bit of that. I woke up really late as well. It's like, it's like one o'clock already. I woke up around 12 and I wanted to eat something sweet. And originally I wanted to make banana pancakes, but we ran out of bananas, so now I'm gonna make um, cookies because one of you guys tagged me on Instagram your cookies um, turned out so well so I was like okay I'm gonna make some cookies I have, cho uh, I have chocolate so I did them the other day after my video I messed it up so bad because I forgot to put the egg in so they were just dry as hell so this is my mixture right now it looks way like softer whilst the other time it was just dry I, I knew something was wrong but anyways this looks a little bit better so I'm gonna put this in a fridge a little bit but in the meantime I'm gonna make my lunch because I'm so hungry it's honestly the same thing every morning I get really bad hay fever oh look, everyone's here you want to go out go free Gigi Nina Oh, Luna, 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 oh my god, Luna, Bert! Luna is a very big dog, you see. And if you're wondering why is the dog wearing a nappy, it's because uh, it's that time of the month for her, okay? So don't judge her. I just realised I've been vlogging her this whole time and she's got a nappy. <laughs> And I didn't give no explanation. Right, so for my lunch, I've been obsessed with rice cakes. I can't live without these because they're a good alternative to um, bread. They're very light. Like, they're like 37 calories, I think, for one. And then I copied my sister on this. This is a light version of the tuna mayo sweet corn spread. It's actually really yummy and not that many calories. It's 83 calories per 50 gram portion. And I use less than 50 gram on my... Maybe around 50 grams on my rice cakes. Okay, so that's it there. I'm keeping it really light because obviously I'm going to have some cookies later. Normally I'll have some soup, but I will definitely do more and more in-depth um, what I eat in the day video. But this is a good light lunch idea if you're still like on a weight loss journey like I am. And then I need to drink loads of water today because yesterday I, did, I barely did. So I need to catch up on my water drinking. I've actually been um, reading this book um, called Eleanor Oliphant is Completely Fine. I shared it on Instagram. And so many of you DM'd me saying it's an amazing book. I'm only on chapter three. I'm a slow reader, but I'm happy that I'm actually reading something. I've got this really annoying zit here. And the other they go. I made them a little bit smaller this time. Okay, these are the cookies. I think after chilling them, they don't spread as much. So yeah, I'm gonna let these cool down and then we're gonna give them a quick taste test. Oh my God, they're just amazing. They're soft and chewy. Anyways, I'm gonna go watch my show a bit now. All right guys, I'm sitting down on the floor because I need to do my feet as well. So when I originally had gel on my nails and the whole lockdown started, I just scraped it off with a nail filer, which you're not supposed to do because it just really damages the nails. And then I just put normal nail polish on. So I removed that. On my toes, I had gel and I bought these two um, Miley, um, I don't know, this is like a set. So you have a gel remover and a nail prep polish and wipe this is what they look like um i haven't used this yet but the gel remover is really good it removes my normal nail polish instantly like you just have to wipe it once i then also got these miley lint free wipes so they're little like little wipes and you just drench the gel remover on that put it on your nail and then wrap it up with um foil paper and just leave it like that for like 25 minutes and it just comes right off i didn't even need to scrape the first layer of the gel off so i'm really happy with this gel remover i know this is like a really awkward thing but i want you to see my nails as well the lead lamp that i'm going to be using is this sensational one you can get these from boots and it's the just the blue light that you need to dry the gel. Um, the brand Miley does do one, but I just we had this one already, so I don't want to like buy another one. I also got this Miley base and top coat, which I'm going to be using. And I only got one shade just to test this out. I got this like pale nude color. It's called Cream on Top. So this is just a um, pretty nude. It's really light, and I'm going to try this one today. I think these were like seven ninety nine. I was gonna. I added so many shades. What I like about this is they've got a good color choice, and it's not just 
boring greys and pinks and stuff like they have nice colors like oranges and nudes but i thought let me give this a try i added so many and my cart went up to like 150 i was like wait a minute let's just get one so for all of this i paid around like 50 pounds i'll link everything in the info box and that's excluding the lead lamp though oh and another thing you need is a nail buffer which i don't have a nail buffer is going to really smooth the nail out and polish it but i just don't have that and i'm going to start prepping my nails with the a nail prep So just to wipe the nail with this. So Adidas came out with new Yeezys and I've never really owned a Yeezy trainers. If you don't know one thing about me is that I love trainers. If I could one day is have like every single pair I would love to have but I just don't. <laughs> um, but they came out with these really nice um, beigey ones. Um, I think they're called Linen. And I signed up to it and it's basically you win the trainers by a raffle draw, like a draw. And I didn't win, so I was really gutted. I know you can get some on StockX. I've placed a bid, but I don't think my bid will go. It's like gone. So you can get it for 180 on Adidas, but once it's gone, you can only buy it on like third-party websites, like legit websites, and StockX is one of them. And um, they're selling them for like 300 pounds now, and I'm like, I don't really want to buy them for 300 when I could have got them for 180 on Adidas. Okay, so now my nails are prepped with that stuff it really dries out the nail honestly i've heard really good things about mine so i'm really excited to try this so i'm going to use a top base coat and you really want to put like a thin layer don't touch your cuticles because what that's going to do is then lift it's going to lift the gel it won't last as long so you really want to avoid that but this is actually really shiny i have a really bad habit when i do my nails i put way too much nail polish because i think it's going to make it look like gel varnish because gel looks a little bit thick and glossy i was thinking if this works out how i want it to and it really looks nice i would save a lot of money from going to the nail person because i spend like 50 pounds when i do my hands and my nails 50 to 60 pounds but they give me like a discount like five pounds off or something okay so let's see i'm gonna just put this in here and see what got happens <sighs> so my mum bought some gel nail polishes but she only bought the color and so when she would put it in the machine it wouldn't dry properly and it didn't look as good and i think it's because you need the gel the base and top coat and also the nail prep because this is what they do every single time you go to the nail salon. So I'm thinking, maybe this has a chance of working out. I'm just going to leave it a while in there, see if it dries properly. Alright, I've put my base coat on on both hands. It's a little bit tacky, but okay. I've literally, I le I've let it quite a while in the light. Oh, look, sky's there. But we're going to put the colour now. Okay, so I'm going to do one coat of this on both hands. Cure it in the LED lamp. Do another coat, cure it, and then we'll see how it looks then. Okay, I've done my two coats of the polish and the top coat. Now this nail prep says uh, to remove the sticky gel residue, which there is kind of like a stickiness to it. And add a shine to your gel polish. Use a clean lint-free pad for each finger. Dampen with this and brush the nail from the cuticle up to the nail tip. This is taking quite a while. <gasps> it worked right so these are what my nails are looking like they look so shiny they don't have a stickiness and they do feel like they're gonna last quite a while i'm so happy with these honestly i would say it's, it looks 80 percent like it's been done in a nail salon guy i need to do the other side but i'm gonna be using this banana lip balm by tony moly i love this and my my um lips are so dry Right, I'm going to do the other hand and I'll probably show you guys a bit more of a close-up of my fingers. I can only say that I'm really pleased and I feel like I'm going to save so much money now with... Um, nails I feel like I don't need to go to the nail salon I'll just buy a bunch of colors from these and with time I'll get better with application and they're gonna last me for ages I spent like 50 to 60 pounds just to do gel on my natural nails on my hands and feet and a nail polish now that I've got like all the basic products I've need it's like one investment now I can just spend 7.99 on any colors I want and I can just do these at home 
definitely recommend this guys but you need all the products you can't just do it just with the color so i would definitely recommend this set here you need this for sure definitely this base and top coat and of course the color that you want and you need a lead um, light miley do their own they have a professional and a home one but i use this sensational that we already had at home i don't have the prettiest feet but i did my toes as well my left one is deformed from birth <laughs> but i'm glad i got to do my toes as well oh they look so cute it's not neat i got some on my skin but once i take a shower it'll come off slightly off the skin but i'm so glad with this guys honestly i can't be happier i'm so happy with this i was a bit skeptical at first but i'm so glad it's done i feel like a human being again anyways i want to make myself some coffee because i've been craving it so much and i need some i haven't had any today so i've been obsessed with the dalgona coffee and i've been using the nescafe colombia cafe i like the alta rica one as well i just tried this because one of you recommended it so i've been loving this for sure but the normal recipe says two tablespoons of coffee and two tablespoons of sugar and that is way too much like it's nice and really strong i'm literally buzzing afterwards my head is buzzing so i i only do like a teaspoon and a half of everything so i'm just gonna do one one good teaspoon and a half of the coffee then one good teaspoon and a half of sugar, like three teaspoons of hot water. This is a good stir. And I used to whisk this by hand, but you can use an electric whisker, which is what I've been doing, and it takes like, like a few minutes. Okay, once it looks like this, I need to hurry up because everyone wants to use the kitchen now. You can make it look fluffier, you can whip it longer, but I think this consistency works. Then I like to take a few ice cubes. I'm going to use semi-skimmed milk because that's all we have at the moment. Just pour this in. Here's the taste. Oh my god, I was really craving that. If you're wondering why there's stuff in my hair, it's like gel residue, but anyways, never mind. Um, I'm going to head off, guys. I hope you enjoyed this quick little casual vlog i'm gonna go because my mom and sister are literally waiting to use the kitchen because <laughs> otherwise it gets so no noisy i can't film but i'm so pleased with my nails i can't tell you how much i am i'll link everything in the info box for you guys and yeah i'm really happy i've been really productive today anyways i hope you all have had a good weekend given the circumstances try to make the most out of it and be productive and chill just watch netflix who cares just do what you feel like thanks for watching make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and i'll see you in my next video bye